Hey everybody, Frank back here. Finally Friday. Getting ready for another week. For the weekend. Today we got three more butterscotches to wrap up my butterscotch collection. I know many of you have more than I do, but this is what I have. These last three are going to be a little, little bit more obscure. or a little bit newer. I mean, this one's a classic vape train butterscotch. But then we have super aromas butterscotch and then one that i had a real hard time finding any notes on but it's newer at bull city nature's flavors butterscotch which i know nature's flavors is a older company but uh it's not all that popular so let's go down let's look at a few of these uh there's some cool recipes i want to check out uh and then we'll let you go on your weekend let's go everybody all right, first off is Bait Train's Butterscotch. Got some good hearty notes here. Lamb says, off the shake, sweet, slightly creamy butterscotch-like flavor, leaning more towards a caramel at the moment. After six days, this has now got some of the darker sweetness of butterscotch and is feeling nice and buttery along, although it is still not quite thick enough on the mouthfeel and the dark sweetness needs to come out a bit more after 19 days smooth and creamy rich butterscotch with a medium thick mouth feel with a pleasant dark sweetness he suggests using it three to four percent as a main note two to three in the background a half to two percent as an accent note and standalone four to eight he uses it with bakeries vanillas creams ice cream fruits candy caramel other butterscotches and dessert tobaccos <clears throat> vape train recommends one to five in a mix and five to nine as a standalone all right so most common uses we got used with butterscotch ripple super sweet liquid barn vanilla ice cream vape trains english toffee vanilla custard butterscotch from fa custard premium tfa sweetener fa caramel and tfa sweet cream only 17 Public recipes on this one, 267 private. Oh, uh, wait, what'd that do here? Let's, yep, here we go. We only have five of them that are actually rated. We have the first one, the one is Catwood's Tear, Catwood Tears Enjoys Butter Menthol Cough Drops. Not my taste, but if it works, uh, butter base at four, butter toffee base at five. Butterscotch at two, cream de menthe at three, is all vape train honeycomb at two, and orange juice at one percent. Soothe the cough and cold symptoms. Okay, so this is yeah, must be a uh, when they sell in Australia. Let's see, Ronnie's butterscotch ice cream. This is Ronnie Rasmussen. He uses it at four with Ripple at three, sugar cane from Vape Train at one, toffee ice cream at four, and liquid burn ice cream at three and a half, seven days steep. That looks that looks tasty. Uh Scott 12 579. Butter rum tobacco. Uses FA Bavarian Cream at 1.4. Butter rum cavendish from Sticks Mix at four. Vape Train's butterscotch at two. Cream caramel from Vape Train at two. Use some liquid stevia that he bought at Trader Joe's at 1.2. Pudding base at 1.4. And vanilla ice cream from FA at 1.6. 13.6 total. It's made at 8 milligram. Looks good. Uh, let's see. We got Butterscotch Delight from Dibbler. Uh, uses it at 1 with Ripple at 6. You see that a lot with these mixes. Where butterscotch from Vape Train and butterscotch ripple go hand in hand. English toffee at 1.5. Greek yogurt flavor at 1.5. Sugar daddy sweetener at 1. And sweet cream from TFA at 2. Uh, let's see. Vaping Surveyor used it. December 2018. All Vape Train mix. Arabica coffee. The butterscotch at 3. Coffee milk froth. froth Irish cream and sweet cream. All right, let's go to Super Aromas Butterscotch, another new flavor. Uh, let's see, Session Drummer, his notes weren't quite complete on it. Uh, he basically said that 
you know, some of them have their pluses and minuses as far as butterscotches in general. Uh, he likes medicine flowers as the top current pick for comparison. This one came across as somewhat more relaxed at 1%. So it's, so it's possible stepping it up might pull it forward more, but it was quite good even at 1%. This one didn't hit you as hard up front. That's why he's saying it's relaxed, but you could feel the sweetness and butteriness begin to build on the inhale. And it peaked near the end of the exhale. Almost meshing of a buttery caramelliness that carried through most of the vape because it was more relaxed. It was harder to pick certain elements. And definitely not a candied butterscotch. And therefore let it firmly in a more natural camp. Very clean, very authentic. And further testing above 1% will have to be done to see if it becomes more pulled forward very somewhat subdued at one percent uh, eight out of ten he prefers at 1.5 in a single flavor uh frunkster says a decent flavor profile again from this brand it's not a full-on butterscotch but then none of the ones he has tested <clears throat> are that way it's very buttery rich and silky smooth and moderately creamy as with most butterscotch flavors, the more caramel than butterscotch. Yeah, it's the most common with most of them. Here we go once again. My most common use used with is Ripple, Custard Premium Sweetener, TFA Caramel, TFA Vanilla Custard, and Vanilla Custard 2, Milky Caramel Fudge from Super Aromas, Butterscotch Natural, well, Natural Butterscotch from Flavor West, uh, what am I looking at? Vanilla ice cream from Liquid Barn and Borneo. Where is that? No. Yeah, Bomeo vanilla from Super Aromas. Only nine public recipes and 90 private. Tommy V just released this one yesterday. This one I'm going to mix up because this looks really tasty. It's called Lick It. Uses this butterscotch at 1.8. Uh, salted caramel from Wonder Flavors at 1.2. Cream Milky Underpants at 1, and Vanilla cream, vanilla Ice Cream from Liquor Barn at 3. It's basically a salted ice cream. Very tasty, says 7 Day Steep. Uh, I don't have patience. I'll probably try it ahead of that. And he also put out Tin Pan Alley over the weekend. He uses uh, Aged Bourbon Cream at 1.35 from Wonder Flavors. He uses the Butterscotch at 1. Uh, VSO Cinnamon at 0.2. Hanks and Cream at 0.7, Marshmallow Gooey at 0.6, VSO Nutmeg at 0.05, and VSO Sweet at 1. Okay, listen to some Stevie Ray while he mixes it, while he vapes it, I should say. Uh, Custardian has gold. He uses it at 5%, so this one's heavy. Uh, 1% Ripple, 2% Natural Butterscotch, 4% Custard Premium, a half a percent of Vape Wizard in this one. I wonder, wonder why that is. And then Toffee from Flavor at 0.25. Let's see, this is adapted from another mix where you also use the uh, Vape Wizard. It's very interesting. Let's see where we are here. All right. And let's see, we'll check out one more real quick. Let's check this other one out from Cust Custardian. Uh, 551 Butterscotch Custard, 5% Butterscotch, 5% TFA Vanilla Custard, 1% Meringue. You can add a touch of Caramel Original to darken the Scotch at 0.5. <clears throat> now let's check out Nature's Flavors Butterscotch. There's like nothing on this flavor. It's kind of light. And as far as the, the complexion of it, very similar to Super Aroma. It's a lot lighter than the Vape Train one. Uh, let's see. Most common uses, you know, commonly used with is Vanilla Custard, F.A. Vanilla Classic, uh, Meringue, Sweet Cream, Vienna Cream. Uh, vanilla custard from Nick Vape B e flavors, which I'm not quite more. Well, I'm not quite sure if you can get them anymore. Uh, let's see, toasted marshmallow, flavor with sweetener, and TFA French vanilla. 
and there's one public recipe and 20 private. This is a creamy butterscotch from 2016. Teresa Jackson uses it at 5%. Uh, cotton candy at 1. Cream from Nick Vape at 2. Milk from Nick Vape at 1. And vanilla custard from Nick Vape at 2. Let's say these ones, these Nature's flavors are older. I'm not sure if there's like a new reiteration of them. That's why Bull City received them. But not a whole lot we can find about them. So that's what we got. Uh, let's say you can tell by the colors. You can kind of see the difference there a little bit. It is... The vape train is slightly darker than the SSA. And these two are real close. The Nature's flavors and the SSA. Nature's flavors might be they're real, real close. It's when you set them down and the lighting's not hitting them head on, they really look a lot closer than what they what they may be. <clears throat> but that's what we got, gang. Thank you all for another great week. Thank you for the support. We'll see you Saturday night for After Dark. And like I've been saying, be safe, wash your hands, don't talk to strangers. And we'll see you this weekend. Bye, everybody.